I just hate everything, so. <laughs> so regularly in, in Spider Greetings, we uh, slowly but surely accidentally develop characters. And by we, I mean mostly we banter, and then Scott and Brian develop characters. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just curious, is there anybody who would like to hear Scott do some impressions? Yes, hold on, hold on. Before we go into that, on the, uh, on, on the description, it said that Putt and Whipple was going to be here. Now, the PAX people thought Putt and Whipple was a human being. <laughs> so somewhere out there, Putt and Whipple, if you can make a fake ID, fake Eastern European ID card for Putt and Whipple, there was a speaker back there. Oh, yeah. They probably just uh, Googled him and then came up with the IGN video where he existed. Is so. that him, Quish? All right, let's just open up the floor for questions, because I want to I fucking talk to you. Yeah, yeah, if you guys have questions, just line up to that microphone. there's a microphone right Don't there. be afraid. And, and you can ask pretty much any obscene thing. No one wants to ask anything. Wow. No. Yeah. All right, hey, go up to the mic so people can hear you. For shame. Walk a little slower. <laughs> All right, start crawling. There you go. Hey, guys. Uh, love your show, obviously. So, um, I know it's kind of... Old hat by now, but uh, for the pitches, I'm gonna do one. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I want to explain. I want to explain one for the pitch. Uh, so, this oh, oh, I'm point of reference. Yes. Okay. So Arthur wears Fredo shirts. <laughs> I do too sometimes. And and he was wearing one. It was about three months. Ago. Three months ago. It was after we developed the character. And it's, I I walked up to him and was like, oh, it's Fredo shirt. I'm gonna do the pitch right now. And it was I'll explain. Ladies and gentlemen, come to please sit down. I don't feel soft because I do not want them to get blown off by this bitch. <laughs> Imagine, if you will, a giant space sea, and there is a moon in the middle made completely of honey. It is dripping honey. There is a giant bee on top of this moon, and other spacemen in orbit around this moon made of honey. Now, I know this is a brilliant design as it is, but here is where your head will actually lift off of your shoulders and explode. We call this shirt Honey Moon. I said it about this. And he was wearing it, but he didn't realize it. He was wearing this shirt for for a year, and he didn't realize that his shirt is fucking honeymoon. <laughs> so in general, that ends and then up. Scott raped and murdered that joke right in front of me, and I got it. Yeah. <laughs> and then that just about started with a with a, a bunch of shirt ideas that were made up from scratch too. Which my favorite was, if you will repeat it now, some people probably never heard it. It was the, it was the one about. About hold on, there's a behind the scenes action. Can you explain something right here? This is amazing radio. No, we did that. We did. Oh, can't have him on the thing you were talking about. Where am I? Sorry, right, here's another. Here's another pitch for a show that uh, this man has. He actually owns. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's all. Right. Imagine if you will. Sorry, that's all. Right. Sorry, that's all right. Sorry, that's all right. Done in a line drawing style of a girl, and she is holding a gun to her head and committing suicide. Now, her head has turned into blood and butterflies. We call this shirt Bullet with Butterfly Wings. Boom. <laughs> 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 I have a hard time wearing that shirt now, but I've seen like 17,000 people wearing it here. Yes. So now, also, also I have one more shirt, and this is a real good shirt that you can buy on purpose. All right, I know we've had a, a couple of rough months here with snow coming in, and Busted Tees and all the 80s Tees dot com. I think we'll start working at purpose. Got it, what I need to know. It's been a while. Alright, so, imagine if you will. A giant letter C on a t shirt. Now, inside of this letter C are different fish, a, fish, a C, C, a boat on top. And we call this shirt, There Are Plenty of Fish. In the sea. <laughs> the That's a real fucking shirt. That shit is real. You can buy it on Threadless and, and throw away $15. It's fucking retarded. That's if it's on sale. Um, throw away 
So thank you, David, <laughs> yeah. for helping bring that. And up. the threadless guys will probably uh, be around in video form soon as the CEOs. Of yeah, the I mean that joke's funny. It just sucks that Brian isn't here because Brian and Scott really feed off each other. Yeah, doing it normally. So sorry, you're getting uh, half not, a not accurate representation of the podcast or a funny show. In general. Yes. Well, <laughs> He's balls deep right now, so God bless him. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Yeah, let's do my pitch. What's that? Can I still do my pitch? Yeah, oh, oh, you wanted to do a pitch? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Right. You can only do a pitch if you're like every other fucking pitch that we got in our email. If it's horribly racist, <laughs> not funny, misogynist, misogynist, like, hey, well, here's an idea: have a girl fuck a guy and call it rape. <laughs> Send it to Threadless. What? <laughs> They're fucking creative. Oh, here's another idea. All right, let's let's hear it. I am waiting with bated breath. All right. Um, actually, I thought this one was pretty good, but you guys are the audience. So My fist is shaking. It is deciding if it wants to go up or down. <laughs> All right, Michael, do I, I gotta do the voice. Right? <laughs> 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 Too soon? <laughs> he took some pills. He's fine. He's not dead. 20 minutes. <laughs> All right, do it. Imagine, if you will, the famous English actor, Sir Alec Guinness. I like what I'm hearing so far. <laughs> if this goes someplace where you are drinking alcohol, this is going to get even better for college kids. I think this is going to go someplace where I drink alcohol. <laughs> Imagine if you were Sir, I am Sir Alec Guinness, dressed as a doctor and giving a pregnant woman a physical examination. I love this idea already because he is, there is a woman there and she has been inseminated by a man. <laughs> She is loose and she likes to rock off. <laughs> Let me start over, please. No, you don't start over. Yeah. I have an erection. I, I want to ejaculate all over this idea now, please. So we have Alec Guinness as a doctor examining a pregnant woman. You said that. We call this t shirt Obi Gain Kenobi. <laughs> You take that bullshit over to thinkgeek.com. We do not do Star Wars. We are fucking threadless. <laughs> Thank you, David. I'm going to do the best thing Star Wars to do on threadless. Thank you. Thanks, Cal. You all talk about dirty shit all the time. Talk about <laughs> shit yourself, wanking. I'm saying wanking. It sounds so much dirtier with a British accent. <laughs> I don't I think it sounds charming. No, it's I'm like Harry Poppins just walked into the room and was talking about masturbating. My, my pants blew off the second you started talking. Oh, yeah. My pants are already off. <laughs> Sunday morning. I want to hear Ryan talk about some dirty shit. Anything. And, <laughs> and, and in a British accent. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Doing fucking somersaults in front of the stage. Ryan doesn't perform well under pressure. You guys are about to make him start crying. <laughs> this is the only opportunity I'll get. Yeah, and he came all the way from the UK. Come on, Ryan. Could you say you're dying? Come on, Ryan. Spin us a yarn about the last time you were caught jerking off. <laughs> Fuck you. You can say no. And I don't know. I'm right. boring, man. You're an yeah. awesome panelist. So. <laughs> Ryan doesn't talk about dirty stuff, man. The closest he ever got is one time he implied to me that he wanted to, he had sex to have sex with his wife. <laughs> like, that was the closest he ever got to saying something dirty to me. So, Wait, so, so Scott was just telling me how he wanted to have sex with your wife. <laughs> wow. <laughs> when did I do this? Why not? Uh, so, you know, I've actually heard Ryan no, no. I've heard <laughs> Ryan wax, wax poetic on, on fucking bitches, believe it or not. It yeah. does happen, it's just never happened on Mike because his wife listens. <laughs> and I do want to have sex with Ryan Scott's wife. <laughs> it's going to be like that scene in Revenge of the Nerds. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> We gotta leave Ryan Scott's wife out of it. This is like a sense. Ryan Scott's wife is amazing. She is. She is. She's a lovely woman. She is very awesome. And at Patsy, she said she was gonna leave Ryan for me because I, I like puppets. <laughs> you like puppets? See? Confirmed. Monster, you don't like puppets. What? You don't like puppets? No, he's white. I'm big into Muppets. I can. Oh, I know you're big so, into Muppets. Yeah. yeah. Basically, you. <laughs> Basically, we tried to fill in for you. That was a good idea, but Ryan. Love that guy. We sell or you get Scott to say something dirty as Ryan. What's yes. Scott? That's the middle ground. That is but, okay, wait. Do you want awesome Ryan? Yeah. Ryan <laughs> say something dirty in a British accent. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. 
so as I came, I came inside of my wife, <laughs> it was inside of her asshole. <laughs> and then, she told me the story of when she was riding in the car, and she didn't evacuate before she got in the car, and it started shitting out steam and <laughs> Oh, wow. Thank you. No, thank you. It's all for you. It's really hard to work around this all day long. This is all day long. That's why my transformer view took two weeks to write. Why are you talking about that? <laughs> Actually, that's why it took two weeks. Alright, all right, we have another right. another question. I'm Caleb from Seattle. Um, I'd like to hear Putnam Whipple pitch um, how to play Grand Theft Auto. I have a question. <laughs> yes, uh, I have a question. Uh, in this uh, game, when you steal car, does it turn into can you steal go kart and instead of gun, can you use a red turtle shell? <laughs> <laughs> right. And when, when you say, lady, uh, is she princess bitch? <laughs> Thank you. That's all you guys are fucking asking us. Two fucking, three fucking questions. This is like our letters section. <laughs> I know, we beg for letters. We beg for letters. Does because anyone, work. look, you guys are here. Listen, I, I assume several of you are probably single, which is probably fucked up for me to say. I don't know. Hey, you guys are here. But yeah, Ryan Scott, Scott, Scott is here to answer your, your romance advice like we always ask for letters. And he, he can't afford it, man. <laughs> he wants, he's really good at love advice. Like, this guy, when he's out at night, I don't know if you guys ever saw the show, uh, uh, fucking VH1 show. This dude is like a mystery. He's got his, he's got his furry fucking top hat. What the fuck is he talking about? I'm talking about fucking the, whatever that show was. Anyone remember what it was talking about? The pickup artist. The what? The pickup artist. Thank you. That dude, Ryan Scott comes up and starts throwing nicks around the room. You know, he'll still pick out a girl and be like, I'm gonna fuck that girl. You know, I'm gonna fuck her first. And then I'm gonna move on to, bit, move on to our friends. Oh shit, we have a question too that I can stop family. All right. All right, I know you've had episodes that didn't go up. Uh, were there any that didn't go up for content? And yes, you... there was one. There was one. Can you describe oh. the nature of the content? Yes. It would probably be redundant. All right, well. Because we talked about it on Rebel FM. We always go in without a plan, every time. And, uh, it's shocking, you're people. sitting here and we're fucking struggling to come up with something to say. And, uh, well, normally, yeah, see, this happens every time, too. We're always like, ah, we're, we're, we're doing a really shitty job. But then occasionally we're like, oh, man, we really are doing a really shitty job. And there was one in particular that, uh, I showed up and didn't have a mic. And then I was, like, on the fly, like, hey, Ryan, you just host. And Ryan can host, he does, he hosts his own shows. See, I can't but, do without a plan. But Ryan will not host without a plan. Down. And it was just like, like a and then we were just, uh, <laughs> it just ended up going so bad, and, and we just cut it. It wasn't for any content, there was nothing foul, like, well. Oh, I'm sure there were plenty of things foul. But it just sucked. It just sucked. Is that the one where we talked about, like, because there was, there was that one, but there was also one where we talked about how fucked up the last book in Twilight is? <laughs> and then got into the logistics of That was? I was on that yeah, one. Yeah, it was, it, it's where we were talking about if, if, if you had, had a vampire, vampire pussy. If you had a vampire pussy. Well, and if you had a vampire baby and they never aged, how could you fall in love with it? Because it was implied <laughs> in the last Twilight book that, uh, that one of the guys... That a werewolf imprints on an infant vampire baby. So he is gonna fuck an infant for the rest of his life. <laughs> and also, also, werewolves, that shit's gotta be hairy. No, the fuckers don't brew. That's gross. And, uh, that's like grinding a brillo pad. Cold vampire. Cold vampire pussy. That's, that's gross too. Anyway, we just got Mormons. <laughs> um, yeah, go go for it. Yeah. How's it going, man? Alright. Yeah. Um, so I just broke up with my girlfriend in like three years. Go, was a bitch. Uh, so give me some advice. Come up here, give me a high five. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, but hold on. How did you break up with her? That's what I want to know. Over show the phone, it sucked. You did what? Over the phone yesterday. Oh. 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 But you were the one breaking up with her. Yeah. Yeah. We have. <laughs> how much longer are you going to be here for? Um, for a while. Because we're going to take you out and get you laid. Yeah. Yeah. We're, apparently, we're going to do the next best thing because we actually have several bottles of the scent. I don't know if you know what <laughs> 
stand from the bottom because they're really excited that apparently hordes of nerds have been harassing them. <laughs> I'm about this magic get laid oil. Uh, so we will be more It's really just cooking oil. <laughs> it's Dumbo's magic feather for dicks. You would get a variety of love advice, right? Like me and Ryan, 